Dun, dun, dun. Egotastic car time, 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 time. Hey gang, I'm JP and welcome back to Egotastic Fun Time in my car during my lunch break. Today, we're going to have a great time talking about me doing something very scary, okay? I am going to go into my work here in just a little bit, and I'm going to quit my job. Damn, it's cold out here. Jeez, man. Put on your booties, campers. Rise and shine. It's cold out there, stupid polar vortex. Anyway, you guys, so many of you have given me some great advice um, talking to me in the community page this morning, uh, when I posted that I'm thinking about quitting my job, I want to give you a little bit more context to that, and I'm going to go in there, I think, and do it. I am a scared <laughs> to do that. Um, Egotastic Fun Time has been going pretty dang well, especially in the last few months, um, and as far as community goes... The last year and a half almost has been amazing. You guys are incredible. I've had such an egotastic fun time with talking to Orville and talking Star Trek and, um, you know, ripping a new one into CBS's rear end, stupid CBS's and what they've done to us. Offended. I am offended. Anyway, um, it's been going really well. It's This is dangerous what I'm doing, kind of. Uh, because Egotastic Fun Time is going well, and I uh, think it's going to keep going well, at least for a couple more months, especially while the Orville's on, but also my Star Trek content and CBS content have actually been outperforming my Orville stuff, thanks to you guys. And here's the thing, and I've said this a million times, I've wanted to expand the show, the content of the show, into a variety of topics. People think I'm just about Star Trek and the Orville. No, that's just a small piece of the pie. I have lots of stuff I want to talk about and do. And it's going well enough. I have, for the first time in my life, one month of extra money saved up in the bank, which <laughs> blows my mind. One month of money is about just right. Um, but also, we did really well uh, this January. January, the worst month to be a YouTuber. Unless February is the worst month to be a YouTuber. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> sorry for the, the rambling. This is a rambling video. Uh, we did really well. So, you know, you get paid for YouTube stuff the fa a month later. So um, by next month, I'll have, you know, maybe a couple months of money in the bank. Especially if I just eat, you know, crackers and water. Which, dude, there ain't nothing wrong with crackers and water. I love it. Good cracker. Mm -mm -mm. So delicious. Um, so it's very dangerous, but let me tell you something. This isn't on a whim. This is something I've thought about day and night um, for years now. I, the entire reason I started this channel was to break out of uh, the daily grind, which, you know, there ain't nothing wrong with working that nine to five, but I got a very specific situation, a very toxic environment. And the reason I've stayed so long um is because, you know, I make I make an okay amount of money. I make just enough here. Um, but the problem is, is if I were to go somewhere else, I'm qualified for a million things. This is a problem many of us have. I'm qualified for a million things. Also, I work very hard. And usually anything I'm taught to do, I figure out how to do it better because I'm amazing. <laughs> um, but you have to have a piece of paper that says that you're good at that thing. I don't have that piece of paper unless I write one up myself, but they pretty much see through that. Um, so I've stayed at this job for a long time, eight years, uh, because I couldn't afford to go somewhere else at a lower pay. Because, you know, you're going to go somewhere else at a, at a lower pay and you have to work your way up back to the pay that you had, even in a better environment. And after all these years uh, here and now many years doing Ego Tax to Fun Time, building it up. Uh, which is, I've learned so much. Jeez, I've learned so much stuff. I'm qualified for a lot of different things now. But of course you can't say, yeah, uh, I learned a bunch of stuff on YouTube. Here's my uh, subscriber count if you need to hire me. <laughs> that doesn't work in the job market. But now, um, if anything, 
I'm going to uh, quit this job here in just a few minutes. I'm going to be concentrating on the channel, putting out a lot more content uh, in a var variety of ways, not just more topics, but also there's the uh, Egotastic Gaming Time channel, which I'll finally be able to start doing again, uh, playing uh, games uh, many times a week, uh, chatting with you guys. We're just having Egotastic Gaming Time over there. So you can find links somewhere down there for that. Also on Twitch, uh, I'll be streaming on there. That link's down there. And of course, we'll be doing other things on Twitch as well. Um, you know how we do the uh, the fun, you know, the Talking the Orville pre-show? Well, we'll be doing a post-show on Twitter, assuming that I've watched the episode, which uh, I now have a way of watching the episodes live, thanks to the Fox app. Highly recommend it. So we'll do our pre-show. I'll go watch the new episode of the Orville, and then I'll come on to Twitch and we'll do a post show over there. So you guys can subscribe to all that stuff down there. Um, and again, this isn't on a whim. I think it's going to be okay. If anything, Egotastic Fun Time provides me with enough of an income where I can go get another job now. I can get a better job. One that has benefits. I have no benefits at this job. I have no sick time, no personal time. Um, you get two weeks of vacation, that's it. And you can't take those two weeks together or you can't even take two weeks at all um, because you got to save that other week for sick time and personal time because everybody's going to get sick. Everyone's going to have doctor's appointments every year, all that stuff. So I'm in a bad spot. I don't want you guys to worry about me. I think it's going to work out. If anything, um, I can go get uh, another job. Um, I'll ha I have that freedom to do that now where, where I don't feel like I had it before. Um, I don't have any bad feelings towards this the place I work right now. They really got me out of a jam. When I moved, um, I'm in uh, Tulsa right now, okay? When I moved to Tulsa uh, eight years ago, I came from Los Angeles I was in a very bad way. I had $200 to my name. Um, <sighs> no, just kidding. Um, I have a cold black robot heart. I don't cry, you guys, okay? Ever. Just kidding. Put on a romantic comedy and I cry like a baby. Anyway, um, no harsh feelings uh, towards these people. I just can't do this anymore. Not here. They don't got, you know... It's a bad environment. I, I, all day I come into work, no matter what mood I am. I, every day I come in, I'm like, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna forget about all this craziness, and I'm just gonna do my job and be in a good mood. And then ten to fifteen times a day, people are coming up to my desk to complain about everything, and I just can't do it anymore. It's making me not have an egotastic fun time, and it's an effect. It's affecting the content. You guys don't even know how many times I've had stuff I wanted to do. Actually, this is, happens every week. Stuff I want to do, I'm ready to do it. Come on, get you know, get home, start working on a you know a video or a funny idea or a topic, and I get home, I already do it. I walk through the door, I'm like, oh, it was too draining. I'm like, I can't be in a creative space. Um, so I'm not gonna go in there and say, oh, you could take this job and shove it. You can f yourself and the horse you rode in on. I'm not that kind of guy. I like. I don't burn bridges. Oh, but dude, I would totally love to tell somebody to, you know, go F yourself and the horse you rode in on. Oh, that'd be amazing. I always wanted to say that. But it's got to be organic. I mean, somebody has to actually be a dick and have a horse that they rode in on. I don't want it to force it. You know, I just want to say F you and the horse that's right there that you rode in on. Anyway, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to give them plenty of notice, three, four weeks notice. But I'm ready to leave now. <laughs> I cleaned out my desk. I cleaned out every trace of me in there just in case. Because I don't know how it's going to go down. Um, <laughs> but we're going to find out real soon. And again, don't worry about me, you guys. I think I can do it. I don't know I can do it. But I think kind of that I can do it. And I have my fingers into a lot of little pots, you know. I'm all set up. I have been for a long time. You know, with my website, I can do revenue for my website. I got affiliate marketing. I got wonderful Patreons who have been coming in this month. That's wonderful. That helps out a lot. Um, 
you guys could still sign up for a Patreon, become one of the first 100 patrons of Egotastic Fun Time. We still got some slots to be in the first 100. And I'm going to start working on Patreon material. Finally, I'll have the time to work on exclusive Patreon stuff for the patrons. Um, I do a little bit, but I have a hard time finding the time. You guys know how it is. I complain about it all the time because I'm a whiny little bitch. Um, so we're going to go in there. We're going to do this. And don't forget, tonight is a new episode of The Orville, uh, A Happy Refrain. So we're going to be doing the live pre-show explosion uh, tonight. I can't wait to talk to you guys, tell you how things went. Um, you're just going to have to tune in to, to find out. We're going to talk all about it. And um, also, I just can't wait to watch The Orville tonight. I'm really excited. This is going to be a fun episode, a fun one. Uh, wear your bowling shoes, okay? I'll just say that. And uh, get ready for Ensign Turco. She's uh, coming, okay? That sounded dirty, but I didn't mean it in a dirty way. Um, so, you guys, that's it. That's all I wanted to talk about today, and I talked about it. I'm very nervous. I don't like confrontation. I don't think it's going to be confrontation, but, you know, it is kind of like, hey, um... I'm getting out of here. This is too much. I'm not going to say it like that. I'll say, hey, I have an opportunity. Um, you know how I do. I like having fun times, not uh, times. Uh, don't worry about me, but if you want to help, at least help me get through the first couple months, um, there's the tip jar link down there. Oh, look at that tip jar. Just kidding. That's my winger. Um, the Patreon link, it's all down there. There's merch down there. Uh, any of the posters or the t-shirts that are down there, um, I get a very good, because I design that stuff, so that all 100% profits go to Egotastic Fun Time. Um, anything you guys want to help with, I would really appreciate it if we get, you know, 10 or 20,000 of you <laughs> to um, uh, become a patron for $2 a month, just for a month or two, and then cancel it. No hard feelings, I don't mind. Uh, we'll be doing really well and we'll have a really egotastic fun time. Uh, any of you creators out there, you know, want to help out, uh, you know, putting out content as well. Maybe we'll form like a conglomerate. Did I use that word right? That's a big word. Dang. Good job, JP. Um, smart. <laughs> so what do you guys think? Do you think I'm crazy? Are you happy for me? Are you afraid for me? That's not proper English. Are you, <laughs> uh, do you, uh, you know, you want to kiss me, you want to punch me, whatever. You can let me know what you think by joining the conversation below. And thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing and supporting. Clicking on stuff down there. Um, <laughs> I'll see you very soon. And I hope all your times are egotastic fun times. I'm going to go quit my job right now. See you later. Oh, there's a car coming. Well, oh, and then I died. I'm going. Wait, dang it. I forgot. I got to turn this camera off. <sighs> Egotastic fun time. We're going to have a great time. Egotastic fun time. Give me all your money. Give me all your money. You'll find me funny. You'll find me funny. Okay, I'm going to go do it. Bye.